Today on Bonehead Detectives, it's the asteroid that smacked into the Earth and killed all the dinos. Not so fast there, Ace. Not everybody believes that bunk. Especially this guy. That's bunk. Thanks, Dr. Bob. I'm Sam. Then it must be time for another mystery from prehistory, bonehead detective style. And today we have the mama of all mysteries. It comes from a viewer in Bethesda, Maryland. Renata Rojas writes, Dear Sam and Allie, I love the way you guys are always solving mysteries on your show. Thanks, Renata. But, uh -oh. there's one case you still haven't tried to crack. If the dinosaurs were so tough, how come they all died off? Wow, Renata. That's a stumper. The great dinosaur extinction. It happened about 65 million years ago. That's the last time any dinosaur was seen alive. We know when it happened, but how did it happen? And that's our question of the day. Who killed the dinos? Or, to put it another way, who done it? That's right, fellow boneheads. We've got ourselves a good old-fashioned murder mystery. So let's get out there and uh, find ourselves a killer, huh? Hey, this looks kind of familiar. Well, it should, because Earth looked like this for a long time. That's right. At the end of the Cretaceous, 65 million years ago, most of the world looked like this. Kind of like my backyard. With one big difference. Yeah, it was a great time to be a dinosaur. Triceratops, T-Rex, and the boys were loving life. But it didn't last. One day, poof, they disappeared. And 65 million years later, these guys are on the case. They're just dying to know why the dinosaurs died out. What's his rush? Don't worry, Sam. If anyone knows these roads, it's bonehead detective Kirk Johnson. Here's where we are. Somewhere up in here. Somewhere in the southeast. Yeah. Let's see. Tons of dirt and rocks. Hot sun. Yep, this must be the place. Kirk knows all the hot spots. He's been coming to the Badlands here in North Dakota for over 10 years. Everybody out. Let's get digging. Dino extinction is a major mystery. And they're not going to rest until they get to the bottom of it. Or at least they get to the bottom of this hill. Out here in the field, Kirk's hoping to dig up some clues to one of the oldest mysteries in the world. It's a tough job. I mean, finding the answer to who killed all the dinos is no walk in the park. The whole study of the extinction of the dinosaurs is complicated because here are these huge animals that lived on Earth for 150 million years. They became extinct 65 million years ago, yet it's quite hard to solve a crime that's 65 million years old. Basically, the dinosaurs disappeared 65 million years ago. Who done it? All right, the question of the day. Actually, for Kirk and his team, who done it is the question of every day. And every day, paleontologists like these guys come out here to the Badlands and try to find the answer. That's right. This area is special because it's where a lot of dinosaurs lived right before they died off. This is it. This is the horizon which marks the extinction of the dinosaurs. Below this level, and out in here, there are dinosaur fossils. Above this level, in these rocks, there are no dinosaur fossils. So I'm actually standing on the level that marks the extinction of the dinosaurs. Here on Bonehead Detectives, we have our own way of marking the extinction of the dinosaurs. You guessed it, it's timeline time. Well, let's jump right into the age of the dinosaurs, the Mesozoic. The first little dinosaurs showed up right about here, late in the Triassic. Now this may surprise you guys, but extinction was a kind of common thing in the Mesozoic. Take Stegosaurus. Stegi shows up about here, 156 million years ago. 
but he's extinct by right about here, 145 million years ago. And Velociraptor was born here, 85 million years ago, and died out here, 80 million years ago. But the really creepy extinction happened here, at the end of the Cretaceous. It's creepy because that time, all the dinosaurs, except the birds, completely died off. And it's that mega major huge extinction that has Kirk Johnson so fired up. So let's jump back to the present, and the Badlands, where Kirk is still digging. Hope you find some excellent bones. Believe it or not, Sam, Kirk's not even looking for bones. Not looking for bones? Then what is he looking for? That's a good question, Sam. And next, Kirk will show us that a good paleo detective looks at all the clues. As the search continues for the world's baddest dino killer. We'll be right back.